You are the loudest typer I've ever heard. Yep. You should hear me pound on the piano keys, too. I don't hear pound on anything. Your hey, welcome back to our Stupid Directions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. <laughs> I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so oh! juicy. Thank you, Marcel. As the patron, follow the future Twitter account, the bell, the vote on the notification squad. <gasps> Bang! Hey! I know. It's loud. I know. And today, uh, we are reacting to a Veer Das <laughs> video. Uh, Who's that? Uh, he's one of our favorite comedians. And secondly, oh, yeah. we, were we were supposed to be seeing him this month, but obviously everything got canceled. No, <laughs> no excuses. He's just he's just not committed. Yeah, not committed at all. Why don't you want to be in an arena with thousands of people? What's wrong with you? What uh, does he care? He's on stage. He can social distance from the audience. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, so he's been doing like vlogs almost daily or every couple of days on his thing. Uh, this one's called The Bright Side with Veer Das, Coronavirus and Comedy. Well, of course it's comedy. Well done. Uh, Good. But it... it if we want to pull it up real quick, the disclaimer says, This show attempts to make light of a very dark themes and situation and attempt to disarm them. If you do not like, if you do not think it is appropriate, do not watch. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of people, he, people he already got offended by us on the fact that in a video where we're talking about coronavirus, like, I've laughed. Like, just, just laughed. Not, like, at, like, coronavirus, but just laughed. Because, you know, you should laugh all the time. <gasps> but. Well, yeah. Yeah. Pe people get offended just because they want to get offended. So, yeah, we, yeah. we want everybody to remain safe and stop touching each other. Uh, <laughs> that's Corbin's advice. Just stop touching people. <laughs> and just because you make light of something doesn't mean you're not taking it seriously. So everybody take a chill pill. Very factual. Ready? Three, yep. two, one, go. I thought it, I thought it wasn't going for a second. <gasps> coronavirus. What if the coronavirus gets worse and worse and worse? <laughs> These are like your graphics. <laughs> Welcome to The Bright Side with Veer Das, my brand new show, where we take the darkest thought in your head and go to someplace silly, oh. so that the next time you think it, <laughs> I like it, doesn't seem that bad. Today's episode, what if the coronavirus gets worse and worse and worse? Here's The Bright Side. <sighs> okay, on The Bright Side, this worked out pretty well for musicians, if you think about it. I mean, it was hard enough to market a gig the week before coronavirus. Just be like, hey man, I'm playing Carnegie Hall. Do you want to come? No, I'm busy. Now it's easy. It's just, hey man, I'm playing the balcony at 5 p.m. I think you're going to be watching. Also, we all got a glimpse into celebrity houses this week, you know? <laughs> Wasn't it kind of nice on the bright side to know that even some celebrities have shitty houses <laughs> just like you? You know, houses with defects. Like, oh, there's Shah Rukh Khan in. He has a broken plug going behind him. And there's Selena Gomez. She has a light bulb that's not working. And there's Kim Kardashian. And she has a, a husband. <laughs> right, there's blue skies. There's birds that are happy. Oh my God, we can hear birds. On the bright side, those animals are also confused as fuck. Because <laughs> those animals have grown up with humans. There's just pigeons walking around like, Hey man, where's Raju? No, the, the guy used to spit over there for a decade. I used to eat that. Where's Raju? What the fuck happened to Raju? Have you seen those photographs of just all the birds in Delhi looking at each other? Do you realize none of those birds have ever met each other before in their lives? So he's just a bird for the first time looking at a thousand other dudes who look just like him and like... Am I high? <laughs> Also, like you think you are detoxing, the animals are detoxing as well. There's just birds flying around like, give me some smog, man. I need some smog. I'll suck your dick for some smog. <laughs> On the bright side, everything online is getting watched right now. 
doesn't matter how shitty your content is <laughs> it is getting watched people are going to be watching comedians they hate just like ah, ah, ah. he's breathing so am i i love it carry on that's funny on the bright side isn't it fun to see like hmm. the pescatarians and the vegans and the vegetarians and the keto people and the intermittent fasting people just as fucking scared as you are you know these people who previously were like oh no i i, I, I don't eat meat i only eat what the planet gives me Well it gave you a motherfucking <laughs> virus. Excuse me that's my cheese boy. <laughs> also hey congrats parents you met your kids for the first time during the day. Remember how in the olden days parents would send you off to school and they'd be like he came back an asshole. I don't understand there's something wrong with the school. Now in a year's time if your kid is a fucking douchebag that's on you. Congrats. <laughs> You never really used that balcony before, did you? You kind of took that balcony a little bit for granted, didn't you? Now you're going to use the shit out of that balcony. Every new building is going to have a fuckload of balconies. It is the time to be a balcony. If we ever get through this every new building, yeah, this is the half bedroom but it's got six balconies. I like balcony conversations. It's very Shakespearean. We're all just kind of Juliet now. So on the balcony like what light on yonder window breaks. Tis not the sun tis mr chopra's ass crack really more of a moon also to all the old people who've been trying to sell us on all of your home remedies for years and years and we were just like there's no science behind that dad now's your time to shine cuz now we're calling the shit out of you aren't we fuck with us do it it's like yes yeah, sir it's a ancient remedy uh boiling hot water uh ginger salt Yes. Uh now dip your dick in it. <laughs> also there's a lot Melt of couples dick. just stuck in bedrooms like this together. Yeah, we're going to have a baby boom. And on the bright side it's going to make your marriage a lot stronger. <laughs> If not that, it's going to make your divorce a lot easier. <laughs> you no longer need an excuse. You just be like, "Yo, they found a cure. I'm leaving you." Why? Because now I'm going to live. Where are your precious politics now? Hmm? those leaders that you just love and worship whether you are left wing or right wing <laughs> <laughs> on the bright side there's more humanity in all of us <clears throat> there has to be right there's no choice i mean we've always kind of found each other in the dark because True. I've I've never seen it before. I've never seen a bunch of world leaders come together on TV and just be like, "Hey guys, the government is here for you. Uh we're on it. Uh does anybody have any ideas?" <laughs> That's where we live now. So we don't have them. All we have is each other. And we can't always had each other, but we forgot about it for a bit. And I think now we'll remember that again on the bright side. So if you haven't seen the kinder side of me in a while, um I apologize. and i'm going to try and show it to you as much as i can just in case you don't feel good about yourself just yet um i'm going to give you three people who legit had a shittier week than you did number 1 so here's what happened the indian prime minister locked us down it was a 14 hour curfew it was supposed to be from like the morning till 9 pm but he was like at 5 pm go outside and bang your dishes to show support for the heroes that are working so hard to fight the corona virus and we all did it and then at 5:35 lots of indians went into the street and started dancing and partying <laughs> together and banging their utensils screaming go corona go corona go corona <laughs> which really offended only three girls named corona uh, did nothing to fight the virus whatsoever a dude had to go and have that conversation <laughs> Narendra <laughs> Modi uh, at about 5:35, because you know at 5:05 he was like, "Arey sir, what a lovely gesture, sir. The country is so proud." Wow, they they're really excited, aren't they? <laughs> Continuing on. Excuse me one second. Hello. Outside. <laughs> how, how many? Did they really do that? Like <laughs> Yeah, they uh, did they went did on the they? streets. Oh my word. Sir? Yeah. I I I don't think people really understood your speech. <laughs> <laughs> They're outside. What like like five or six of them? No. This is about a thousand in in many cities. 
<laughs> Maybe next time don't don't end the speech with namaskar just end it with fucking scared of <laughs> That guy legit is having a worse week than you are cuz you know every time Donald Trump says something yeah uh, we have the best drugs and uh, quinoline uh, we're testing it it's got great results uh, the best results quinoline cures it and we're 3 uh, weeks away and he has to come and be like um no quinoline does does not cure uh oh, yeah. the coronavirus there is no proof that that does that yeah but but uh if you put uh baking soda uh on your finger <laughs> and stick it up your ass uh that cures the coronavirus <laughs> um no no that does not that's not good for the virus or uh your ass um please don't do that in public that guy is having a shite as week and it's going to escalate um rhino jizz cures the coronavirus <laughs> if you can find a rhino jack it off really vigorously and and get the jizz best in the world we have the best rhinos the best jizz america has the best jizz um no the, it, you know what fuck it sure yes you should find a rhino sir do it and third tom hanks i'm just going to throw that in there because yeah Just in case you're still not feeling better about the coronavirus, I'm going to include five things that you can do to make yourself feel better. Wash yeah. your fucking hands. <sighs> wash your hands like your hands just washed your ass. Uh, Americans Google washing the ass. Uh, it's going to help you a lot in the foreseeable future. <laughs> Stay at home. I know you don't understand why you're staying at home right now, but aren't you just used to that? Just staying at home for reasons that you don't know why. Be it rom-coms or marriage or Christmas, stay the fuck off WhatsApp. It will only stress you out more. I promise you, there is no useful information on WhatsApp that you cannot find on the CDC website or on Twitter or on Facebook. Heck, fuck your friends. Yes. Fuck your family. <laughs> secure your home. Organization. Take yes. care of old people because they took care of you, and if they didn't, still do it. because that means you will be better old people immune up man vitamins veggies sex lots of sex <laughs> i don't know if you know this but sex is great for your immunity fuck right now don't even watch this <laughs> long shot okay i'm sorry this is a long shot no ultimately this virus is not about humanity or courage or mother earth or population control it's about immunity immunity to bullshit immunity to hatred immunity to selfishness immunity to hoarding immunity to indulgence immunity to each other and yes a virus so get your immunity up to find the best in you and so that you can resist the worst in you and i think and i hope and i pray you're going to be just fine so <laughs> The next time that you think is the coronavirus going to get worse and worse and worse and worse, I want you to think of Mr. Chopra's ass crack, <laughs> balcony symphonies, unhappy vegans, <laughs> dipping your dick in hot water, and confused fucking birds. My name is Veer Das. Take care of each other. That's the bright side. Good night. Oh. I uh, hit like and subscribe and all of that other shit because this is my new show and I want it to go viral. <laughs> oh, I love him so much. Uh, he's so, <sighs> so funny. And then, but like with everything he does, he always brings it back to to a message he wants to to convey. And it's always yep. uh that's one of my favorite things about it cuz there's a lot of comedians that I love but that their their thing is just offense um like Bill Barr he he and and like Ricky Gervais they just like to offend mm -hmm. you and that's their whole thing right. and it's that, right. that's phenomenal and I love them uh but I want the one thing I love about him is that he can still do that but then he always brings it back to a positive message at the end yeah. of it and I think that's really impressive and hard to do because no it is. It, it's hard to, especially as a comedian because you're there to make people laugh and you don't want to take them out of that sense of laughter but he he's able to do that but then keep bringing it back like he goes back and forth between a, a hard message and and funny often and it's it's really really impressive i've never seen a comedian that can do that like he can i agree the only other comedian 
that I was exposed to who did this, who had underneath it all, when you listened to him, you knew what he was saying was driven from a deep, deep, deep core belief system. Mm -hmm. And he did it in biting ways, but it was still hysterically funny and intelligent was George Carlin. Mm. And he reminds me of him solely in that respect. He's entirely different than George Carlin. Uh, George Carlin... George Carlin said what he said and hoped he pissed you off. And if he did, he didn't really care. And get out of here if you don't believe what I believe. Because if you don't, you're a schmuck. <laughs> Whereas Virdas, he'll point stuff out and then he'll bring you around to let you know that he loves you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's really impressive. Uh, and, and I like it a lot. Um, and I'm, 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 too. I'm sad that we like he had to cancel everything because of everything that went on. Because we would have gone to see him here. I think it, I think it might have been even today depending on what day this is released. Uh, yeah, it was <laughs> around this time. It was close. Yeah. Uh, we will. It'll happen. Uh, and I, w- I would actually just love to sit down and talk with the man to see what he's like when he's not performing. Because I'd assume he's pretty similar, and but he's very deep in his, in his, in his thinking. Absolutely. I, I bet he's a lot like the speech kind of thing. Um, he's... Be stupid? Very intelligent. He's yeah. very intelligent. Yeah, um, most uh, most comedians are. <laughs> well, yeah, they're they're just they're deep thinkers, and they they look at the world a different way, which is why yeah. they can make fun of it the way they do. Um, yeah, but yeah, I love him. Uh, if Virdas, if you're watching, please come on the show because we would love to talk to you. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's watching, right? I'm sure he is. I'm yeah. sure he is. Yeah, and for for anybody. Uh, any stupid babies who are still this is not to downplay the severity or seriousness of what's going on but to put things into perspective for you guys especially younger people this is not the first pandemic to hit planet earth and it is not by any stretch the worst it's actually one of the more mild pandemics compared to the rest of human history and we've had big bad pandemics hit planet earth every 100 200 years or so and this just happens to be the worst one we've ever had to live through and we've come through them we've gotten out the other side of them so uh, this too is going to pass no and it won't be the last one um and it 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 really is it's a trying time it's a difficult time but we've the, the planet and the human race has seen far far worse instances than this and came out the other side okay so I love that he's doing this. I love that he's doing this. So go subscribe to Fear Das. And yeah. uh, also, uh, don't touch your grandma. Yeah, just don't. Just don't touch her. It's good advice, Corbin. That's yeah, don't good touch advice. 